Here's a simple piece of information that all truck drivers need to know. Especially the new guys, they probably won't have thought of this yet, but you should know the weight of a gallon of diesel fuel. Now, if you're hauling loads of diapers, it may not be an important thing to you, but most carriers like to load their trucks as heavy as they possibly can. So if you're a company guy working for one of these big carriers, you need to know how to fuel, when to fuel, and what the weight of the fuel is, because it may save you from getting a ticket at one of the scales. I've seen all sorts of new guys run over to a customer's with between a half and a quarter's worth of fuel in the tanks, load up, go to the cat scale, check their weights, they're 33,500 on their, on their drives. They think, ah, great, I'm legal. And they take off, get down the road, hit a truck stop, put on some fuel, and at the next scale, they're overweight. And they're overweight simply because they've put on too much fuel. And that's a ticket that's easily avoided. So here's a few tricks and secrets to help you stay legal and keep you out of trouble in that regard. One of the first things you should do is be at at least half tanks when you go into a shipper's. Then load up and check. If you can't scale that guy's freight on half tanks of fuel, chances are you don't want it. Because if it's going to put you close to the edge, close to the 80,000 and you've got to be below half tanks, you're going to be stopping for fuel every couple hundred miles. And they're not paying you enough to go through that kind of grief. Or when the truck gets into an up angle in the mountains, if the pickup line is at the front of the tank, the fuel runs to the back of the tank and you'll be sucking air going up the hill. You may even run out. So keep at least half tanks in your truck. But let's say you go to the shipper, you're 33,000 on your uh, drives after you've set everything up. You know that at seven pounds per gallon, now US is a little bit less than seven pounds per gallon. Canadians a little bit more than seven pounds per gallon, but we'll use the seven pounds as, as an all around figure that works for us. At seven pounds per gallon, if you're at 33,000 on your drives coming off the cat scale, you can put on 100 gallons and know you're gonna be okay. So you're gonna be 33.7, you're not gonna be close to that 34,000. You'll be legal and you'll still have lots of fuel with 100 gallons on. So if you're 33,000 pounds on your drives, you can go to the truck stop, put on 100 gallons of fuel, because at seven pounds per gallon, that'll be 700 pounds, and you'll be at 33,700 on your drives, and you know you'll be safe and legal at that point. Let me show you how I set up a truck to scale legally in the States. This is a typical five axle configuration for the US. So what I like to do is set my trailer axles first at 34,000 or as close as I can get without being over. And then I'll move the fifth wheel back and forth because I want to load as close to 12,000 as I can get on this axle. And that leaves me these axles a little bit lighter than the other groups legally as far as weight's concerned because my fuel tanks are here and when I fuel it's going to put weight on my drives. Now this may change a little for guys that have their fuel tanks up underneath the doors. It'll load a little more onto here. But most trucks are set up in this configuration. So if you're 33,000 pounds here you know you're good with 100 gallons of fuel to make yourself 33.7 and you'll be legal. So you know you won't be running out of fuel because the truck is starving for fuel when it's in an up angle like this and away from the pickup line. Pretty basic stuff to know. Seven pounds per gallon, just times it by the number of gallons you want to put on, then check your weight again, and you should be good to go no matter where you go. You'll be able to keep legal just by keeping an eye on the weight of your fuel. In the reverse, if you're an owner-operator that's trying to put on as much freight as you possibly can, you can run this figure downwards to know that you can drop 100 gallons of fuel, get your weight down 700 pounds, and you'll be legal to maximize your, your load on the trailer, particularly if you're getting paid a percentage of the gross, if you're hauling produce where they like to load you right, right hard to the back doors as much as they can. So if you want to put on a little more freight or an extra couple of skids, you can run low on your fuel and use that seven pounds per gallon calculation 
as an amount of fuel that you can put on and stay legal. I remember getting up one morning early in Fernley, Nevada. I was going into California. I knew I could only put on 70 gallons of fuel to get across Truckee. I hadn't had my coffee yet. I was in a daze and before I knew it I had 100 gallons in the tank and I stopped right away when I caught it but it was too late. I put on too much fuel. Got to Truckee and sure enough <laughs> they pulled me around back because they'd, they'd seen me enough times to know that I never had a problem with weight but today there was an exception so they pulled me around back to ask me about it. I, I just told the guy the truth. I said I was fueling up early this morning. I hadn't even had my coffee yet. I forgot to pay attention to how much fuel I was putting on. I just put on about 25 gallons too much. I'm, you know, I'm sorry, completely my fault. I'll be, have it burned off by the time I get to Sacramento, I'm sure. And the guy was a decent guy and let me go. But it happens to everybody if you're not paying attention, but there's a good number to remember. Seven pounds per gallon for diesel fuel. When I was preparing for this video, I was thinking about weights and measures and legal weights and it, reminded me of a story from way back, back in the late 70s, I was hauling tankers for a company in Alberta and I was fairly young and fairly new then and I went in Sunday morning, I didn't have a load or anything, I just went in to wash my truck and there was an old guy in there, my favorite old guy, the best driver they had in the fleet, his name was Simon, but Simon had just been given a brand new set of B-Train tankers, shiny, shiny. They were beautiful things. And they'd just come in on the, on the Friday night. So he hadn't had a chance to work them yet because they had to go to weights and measures to be calibrated for the amount of fuel that they could, they could haul legally so he could stay legal. So the company could keep their truck legal. It was the company truck and trailer. So there early Sunday morning is my buddy Simon, my old buddy Simon. He's He's well over 60 and he's hauling sets of triple tire chains up the ladder onto the roof, onto the catwalks of these twin tanker trailers one at a time. And it's tough, hard work. And I, I am watching him for a minute or two because I can't figure out what the heck he's doing. We've got, we've got tire chain racks underneath the trailers and on the tractor. So I don't know why he's putting them up on the catwalks of this new trailer. So I went over there and I said, what, what in God's green earth are you doing? He says, just shut up and give me a hand. So we spent, oh, a couple hours hauling as many sets of tire chains as we could find and lying them in the catwalks on these two trailers. So Monday morning, the trailer goes to weights and measures in Calgary and they calculate how much fuel it can haul by how much weight the thing can hold before it goes overweight. So what they do is they fill these tankers up with water at weights and measures and just keep filling up the trailers until they hit the legal gross limit, which back then was 110,000 pounds for a set of B-trains. So they calculated out how many gallons this thing could haul legally, set the measures, set the weight of the trailer, and that was it. No more than this amount of fuel because the trailer weighed this much when it was empty, so you could only put on this much load. But what he'd done by hauling all the tire chains to the roof of the trailers was added a thousand pounds to the empty weight of the trailers. Why did he do this? Because back then the engines were weak, these were company trucks, and we were pulling steep, steep grades. So Simon had figured out that if he saved a thousand pounds on payload, he would be able to go up the sides of the hills quicker than the rest of us could. And he was absolutely right. We'd get loaded, all loaded up, we'd head into the Rockies, Simon would always be the first one to the top of the hill because he was hauling a thousand pounds less than everybody else. And you had to laugh, it was so clever, but that was the trick that he had done. But weight is weight, it all makes a difference, and there's the lesson. Seven pounds per gallon is an easy number to remember, so keep your weight legal, stay safe, and I'll see you on the backhaul.